Salam nasılsın? I'm greeting you guys in Turkish because I have a new makeup brand to introduce to you and it's created by Turkish, Turkish-German um, TV actress Meryem Uzarlı and here is her makeup. So uh, you might know Meryem from a Turkish TV series The Magnificent Age. It's based around Ottoman Empire, Ottoman Sultan Suleiman and she's actually one of the main actresses. She's Sultan's wife, I believe. So it's a historical TV drama. Mariam has always been into makeup and she decided to release her own makeup line and I think it's absolutely stunning. This is how all makeup should come in packaged, right? It's so gorgeous. So when you open up the box, you have the lady herself. This is Mariam. Um, she has gorgeous blonde hair and like bright blue eyes. And you also get a leaflet with another picture of her. And here you have all of the information on the products, like what you get inside the box. The box is velvet on the inside and it comes with five products. So you get a liquid liner, a kajal, two mascaras and a stunning eyeshadow palette. Basically, these are all of the products you will need to recreate this beautiful eye look. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. Uh, this is the look I've already recreated. I personally love this makeup look. It's much more makeup than I would normally wear, but it's something a little bit different for me. And if you guys want to see how I achieved this çok güzel makyaj, keep on watching. I have Armani Luminous Silk Foundation on and Bourjois Radiance Concealer on my under eyes. I've also filled in my eyebrows with my Bobbi Brown Longwear eyebrow gel just to make it easier and focus on the actual products from Meriem. So her makeup look is very coppery. I don't know if you can see, but the coppery shadow go goes all the way in here on the inner corner of her eyes. Uh, it has a little bit of like gold sheen through the center and then really dark shadow on the outer corner here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this beautiful coppery shadow here it's really pigmented and really warm tone. It's like sunset, color of a sunset. And I'm just gonna take that all over my eyelid and um, also bring it in here, as you could see in the picture. This is actually not something I normally do with my shadows ever. Like I don't bring it in here so strongly, but we'll see how that goes. I might really like it. I'm gonna take a blending brush and blend out the color, really soften up the edges. I'm just using the picture as my reference. Now I'm gonna take the gold color and I'm gonna take a small Zaiva Lux Petit crease brush. I'm gonna take that super intense gold shade here, tap off the excess, and she has the color in the inner corner. Whoa, this is really intense. Like it's like a really strong, powerful, gold shade. That's beautiful. I love it. It's like colors of sunset mixed together. So pretty. They really complement each other. Then she has that gold color like through the center of her eyelid. So I'm gonna pop it in here and a little bit up here. So mainly on the inner part of her eyelid. just like that. Now I'm gonna move on to the darker color. Beautiful, beautiful chocolatey color. And I'm gonna take a flat brush like this. This is a Eva Lux Brow Light. So it's for your brow bone. But I'm gonna take the chocolate color. Again, tap off the excess. And she has that color on the outer corner of her eyelid and then in that V shape and also along the lashes. 
And she has the mixture of the bronze color and the chocolatey color on her lower lash line as well. So I'm gonna take bronzy shade here and put it along my lower lashes. Like so. Now I'm gonna do the same with the chocolatey color. Make sure you tap the excess because you don't want that dark shadow falling down your face. Now I'm gonna take a crease brush and take that same chocolatey color and really gently place that color in my crease and do that kind of wind swiper motion. She definitely has that elongated cat shape going on. And I'm actually barely pressing the brush. I'm doing very light feathery strokes. Okay, I'm gonna take the blending brush again and blend out the colors so that they merge together. And I just want a really soft look. No harsh lines, no cut crease, none of that. It's just very soft, um, blended out, smoked out look. Now I'll actually go back to the bronze color and add a little bit of that, just to bring back the warmth. That is my eyeshadow done. Now I'm gonna move on to liquid liner, which is this beautiful gold liner. And she doesn't have a cat eye going on. She just has the liner along her lash line. I'm gonna start here. I'm bringing it out just a little bit to lift up the eye, but not uh, actually drawing a full-on flick. Okay, here we go. Now I'm gonna use Kajal liner. I tried it once and it didn't seem to work out, maybe because it's like a waxy um, Kajal. It's like an, you know regular eyeliner, uh, whereas other Kajals are more like pressed powder shadow, like pressed pigment. So I don't know, you're supposed to put it like on your waterline, close your eyes and drag it out. And it's meant to line your waterline and your uh, tight line. It's kind of working, <laughs> but not too well because I definitely need practice with it. I feel like I need to intensify the color a little bit more. So here we go. Something like that. Oh, this one worked a lot better. You have to do it really slowly and it kind of warms up in your eye almost and then just drag it out. love this eye makeup and especially with a yellow blouse I think it looks very nice now I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply Mariam's mascaras she has two mascaras so I suppose you're meant to layer them mascara number one this gold one both of them have natural bristles and I think I personally prefer plasticky bristles I feel like it doesn't add a lot of length and volume um, I'm gonna put mascara number two on top of that so the wand is slightly different but 
yeah i don't feel like these mascaras add much to your lashes they're like very natural looking i like that they don't clump up too much okay so you guys can see for yourselves um i don't think the mascaras are adding much and she's definitely wearing falsies in the picture so that's what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna use nyx wicked lashes that look like this um they look very pretty quite natural so these are in bashful you have to look down when you're applying false lashes Okay, so one eye is done. They're not dramatic at all. I really like the look. They look quite natural. Now I'm gonna move on to my face. She does have a lot of blush going on. I cannot really see how much bronzer or contour she's wearing, but she definitely has got a lot of peachy blusher. Like, look at that. So I'm gonna use a tiny bit of bronzer just to warm up my complexion. And I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury palette. It's the instant look in a palette. Um, and I'm gonna take the bronzer in here, tap off the excess, and I'm just gonna bronze up my skin a little bit. Okay, now for my cheeks, I'm gonna use the same Charlotte palette and I'm gonna use the peach color. So this one is more pink and this one is more peachy and I'm gonna take that on an angled brush, tap off the excess on my hand and <laughs> whoa. But she has the blusher just here. It's not going like anywhere close to her mouth. So it's just right here. I feel like now it looks very, very similar to what she has on. Yeah, that's quite an intense blusher. That's not what I normally go for. So I'm just gonna blend it out with a clean brush. And also Mariam has a lot of highlighter going on. I don't know if you can tell, like through the center of her nose, above her eyebrow, cheekbones, Cupid's bow. It doesn't look shimmery or glittery or too gold, too pink. It looks like she has this exact product. This is RMS Living Luminizer and it's just luminosity. Like her face looks dewy. Like doesn't seem like she has product on. So I feel like this is perfect. It's a cream um, highlight. And it's so similar to what she has on. Now my cheekbones. I'm gonna add that above my eyebrow, just like she has. Keep it well. And the last step is lips. She has a very pink uh, lip going on. It's like a very soft baby pink. So for that, I'm gonna use Hue by MAC. It's like a peachy pink color. I do feel like it's a very, very similar color. What do you guys think? I think it looks quite similar. I tried to recreate the color she's wearing. I absolutely love her product, especially the eyeshadow palette. It's just so beautiful and exactly my cup of tea because I love those warm tones. So if you have green or blue eyes, these are really gonna make your eyes pop. Um, as well the, as the liquid liner, it's very intense, very black, glides on beautifully. Just a super pigmented liner, so a great one. Mascaras, I don't actually like. Kajal is quite nice to play around with if you love black liner. I just don't know how long it would last in your waterline. And yeah, that's everything. These are all of the products. I think they're so beautiful. I feel like it's very sultry, very sexy, perfect for evening. Um, yeah, probably not something I would wear out in daytime, but just very beautiful evening makeup. 